Hello again everybody, Boyd here with you. Well, I'm back after a little bit of a break and I wanted to show you guys a little uh, quick model kit review today. I just got this in. Um, this is a really cool kit that I've been waiting for for a while and I know some of you guys out there have also been waiting for it. This is the uh, Black Beauty from the uh, classic TV show The Green Hornet. Now as a kid of the 60s and 70s, I grew up being an absolute uh, massive fan of this show and the original mo and the original uh, Batman TV show. I really fell in love with the characters and the cars, of course. And uh, you, you know, you had the very famous Batmobile that was uh, kind of you know really over the top and really flamboyant with all of its bright, you know, striping and flashing lights and all kinds of cool stuff. You definitely would notice the car if it was driving around. Whereas the Black Beauty here, I always really liked just as much because it was sort of the opposite of the uh, Batmobile. It was kind of more uh, low-key and, and kind of like in the background, just really sleek looking. And um, But it was definitely packed full of gadgets, just like the Batmobile, with weapons and you know spy equipment and just really, really cool stuff. And of course, the driver of the car was Cato, none other than the uh, legendary Bruce Lee. I forget the actor's name that played the actual Hornet itself, but uh, this was just an awesome TV show. Unfortunately, it didn't last very long. I think it only lasted one season or maybe two. Uh, not quite as popular as Batman, but they did a crossover episode between the two, which is really cool um, at one point, and I remember seeing that. But yeah, I wanted to show you this uh, this kit and just give you a kind of a basic overview of what it looks like. The box art, right off the bat, guys, I fell in love with the box art right away. It's really retro. It looks really flashy, really cool, very 1960s, just like the original Green Hornet show. You've got the basic car here on the front. You've got the... Uh, picture of the real model kit here on the side. Now the kit actually comes with the figures of Kato and the Green Hornet, which is really nice. No other uh, model kit of this has been produced ever included that before. Now before this kit came out, all we had was basically the old um, 132 scale kit that I, I believe probably came out right around the time of the TV show and had been around that long. And it was it was a decent kit. Um, I couldn't tell you who originally produced it. It might have been Aurora or something like that. Um, but it's changed hands over the years. Currently, it's in uh, Polar Lights. And if, in fact, uh, at my local Ollie's, if you're interested in one of those kits, uh, they, they've got those in stock right now for, for, I think, like $10. So if you wanted to pick up one of the old original kits. And it's got some really cool box art on it as well. So it's pretty neat just to have it. But... The kit was known over the years to have several issues. Uh, the body wasn't completely accurate. The front windshield glass was known for fitting really poorly. And the car was pretty low in detail. It had the basics, you know, it had the little missiles up here in front. It did have the headlight detail. I think a couple other things, but it was really a really basic kit. And it was a curbside kit. Um, you didn't get much, you know, detail on the bottom and all that. And unfortunately, this kit's kind of the same way, but they've greatly improved the um, overall look and accuracy of the model. So the body is really, really nice. I did some uh, looking around and stuff, and, and the glass and everything fits really good. So they've corrected a lot of these problems. Let's show you the rest of the uh, box art here. You've got the, uh, on this side, talking about the detail on the model. You've even got these little uh, broom sweepers that were on the car. I'm not sure if they ever showed those deployed in the uh, TV show or not, but you had the little satellite that could launch out of the trunk so they could do surveillance. You've got the rear gas gun, the front uh, rocket launchers, front gas gun, rear rocket launchers, and then the interior of the car has got a lot of detail too. We'll show you the uh, uh, bottom box art here and you can see a nice picture of the overall model kit and as you can see it's a really nice uh, accurate body now. It's much better than it was on the old 132 scale. Here's a couple of close-up pictures of the figures. They look really great. But you can see you got the Hornet sitting in his back seat. He's got all of his gadgets there that, you know, in the back of the seat that can open up. You've got all the stuff up in the front that Cato can operate. So this is a really, really cool kit. I'm going to actually build this kit next week, you guys. So I'll come back with a, a video showing this going together. I think I'm just going to use some, uh, you know, in the in the TV show, the car wasn't like super glossy black either. It was sort of a... Uh, semi-gloss black. They didn't want a lot of reflection on it or whatever. Probably so the cameras wouldn't show up when they were filming and all that. So I'm going to use a basic uh, 
Tamiya gloss black on this, and that'll... I don't think I'm going to use an automotive clear on that. I think that'll come out really nice. I think it'll give it that almost exact look. And then we've got to do a little bit darker here, or a little bit, you know, more flat. It did have a uh, a vinyl top on it. So, but yeah, I'm really excited about building this. So let's um, let's pop it out of the box here really quick, and I'll just kind of show you some quick detail on it. Again, they went back to the, uh, you know, this is a curbside kit. But it's much more detailed and looks a lot nicer than the old 132 scale did. You could do a little bit of hand painting down here and all that and get that to pop. I'll probably paint in the uh, exhaust system and maybe a little bit of the engine block detail or something like that. Just do that by hand. But here's the body. I'm going to go ahead and uh, pull this out of the plastic for you. When I was talking about the glass, I was looking at some other videos that are out there and they've uh, shown that the glass fits really good. Now this is some really nice thick plastic you guys. It's nice and sturdy. It's like it kind of reminds me of the old uh Johan uh model kits so you older guys out there will remember those. They've got a little bit of texture on the uh vinyl top here which should show up really nice. I might be able to just uh we'll see if it's got very many uh plastic swirls in it or not, but I might be able to just mask that off and leave that is and just you know do the rest of the body here in the uh to me black as you can definitely see we got some swirls going on. I'm going to want to prime this and then, uh, um, you know, sand it a little bit before we put our black paint on there. And that'll make all that go away. But, yeah, the detail on this is really, really nice. It's a lot more accurate than uh, the original 132 scale kit. Okay, so here we've got the wheels and tires. You've got the metal axles. Well, actually, just the tires here. But they're these are very similar. If you built the 132 scale kit... You'll see you've got this typical type one-piece wheel with the kind of ridge on the top of it with a slot in the tire itself, and that just kind of slips over there and stays in place like that. It's not a two-piece wheel, so we don't have to worry about gluing it at least, but here's all your little headlight detail, your grill, uh, part of the satellite it looks like, some of the interior detail. We've got to do a little bit of painting on that, and then you've got uh, about... Now well, we can pull these apart, I guess. you got about uh, two or three sprues of uh, detail parts. We'll take a look at how that looks. We've got the interior tub and all that stuff. Okay, so let's look at the interior bucket first. So, yeah, you got your front seat pedestal there. you got the side door panels we've got to probably glue on. Then on the back of the seat, we can... That's actually kind of nice to have that separate because uh, we can do all the detail work on the uh, gadgets there in the back seat and get all that hand painted and put it together separately, so that's good. Got the, looks like the back roof insert right in this area right here, back there. Got the figures. This is actually, yep, the figures are one piece. You've got the separate heads and the arms. Cato and the Green Hornet. Nice, uh crispy tail on that. Here's the uh, instrument cluster dash. Looks pretty good. I'm assuming we're going to get some decals or something to detail that out. We'll take a look in a second. The steering wheel, exhaust, tip, steering column, parts of the dash assembly, the center armrest, which had gadgets inside of that as well. So yeah, some good stuff going on here, you guys. Now you've got your actual uh, front windshield. You've got clear headlight lenses. You've got the uh, the green weird light emitting headlights that the car had already done in the green, so that's a nice little thing. Oh, and this is really cool. You get the uh, Cato actually had a little visor he could drop down inside the car and look through at night and get the green Hornet vision, I think they called it. So that little detail's there too. That's pretty cool. All right. Now we've got the uh, yeah we got the door panels here. They look great. You got a little armrest detail there. There's some texturing going on there. They did a nice job on that. Here's the uh, rocket launcher cover doors, front and rear bumper, little bumper pads there. There's the seat. That all looks great. Okay, now we'll take a look at what we've got for instructions real quick. Just have a quick look at that. Probably pretty basic. Yep, we're starting off with the uh, the dashboard there, then going into the figures. Here's all the gadget tray goes together on the back of the front seat. Door panels going in, dashboard going on, figures getting glued in. Yeah, really, really basic stuff, you guys. 
being it's a curbside, you just got the straight metal axles that slide right through, and then you stick the, the wheels onto the ends. Probably don't even have to glue them. We'll see how that looks when we uh, see how tight they fit. There's the tailpipe. The uh, tires, tire track sweepers I was talking about, they hardly ever showed those, if at all, in the show, but it was a neat thing. It supposedly could hide the, uh, the car's tire tracks. And then you got the front here with that detail. I'm not going to do any lighting or anything on this, you guys. I'm just going to build it as a completely static model. Uh, just have some fun with it, like the old school way I used to build when I was a kid. But we'll try to make it look really nice. Let me see what we got for decals here. Okay, we got um, some white striping. I'm not sure what that's for. We got the original accurate Green Hornet license plates. And just a couple little logos there. Yeah, and we got all of our wood trim and everything uh, for the interior gadgets and some of the view screens and stuff. So that's really cool. These might be part of that little satellite drone you can launch or something like that. We'll figure it out, you guys. Now, I see what these white stripes are. These are There's some markings on the car right here and along the, uh, cro the, the stripping on the top here. Those are actually supposed to be chrome, you guys, or stainless. So I'll probably figure out a way to do that, either paint it on or uh, use some bare metal foil. So we're probably not going to use those white decals, but that's what they were trying to represent there as far as I can tell. So there you have it, you guys, the Green Hornet in 125th scale, or I mean the Black Beauty in 125th scale. This is going to be a really, really fun kit. Again, I'll start on it next week, and I'll show you guys the build, and uh, we'll have a lot of fun with it. Hope you enjoyed the little review here. We'll come back in a few days and get started on it. Until then, take care and happy modeling, everybody.